This is Popotla, estimated population 200, a small fishing village located on the Baja coast, less than 10 miles south of Rosarito Beach. In 1996, something big happened here that changed the face of this town. 20th Century Fox built a multi-million dollar state-of-the-art production studio. It's quite a compliment to all of us here in Rosarito. It's an honor to have all these famous people in our little town, and now we are known all over the world thanks to Fox Studios. Known all over the world because of this Academy Award winning hit movie. When you saw the movie, did you know? No. no. I figured no. it would be no. filmed in some cold place. That's exactly what director James Cameron wanted the audience to think. We looked at coastal areas in Poland and Ireland, Australia, Canada, the U.S., and partly due to its proximity to Los Angeles and partly due to the availability of the land here, um, this site was chosen. The 40-acre site comes complete with unobstructed views of the ocean. In the film Titanic, it looks like the ship is sitting in the ocean, but it's not. With so many cast members and extras, the studio also constructed a building specifically designed for makeup, hair, wardrobe, and suites like this one for the movie stars. Crews can also recreate just about any water scene. They do it using three separate giant concrete pools or tanks. When combined, these three tanks hold up to 20 million gallons of water. Arneson says Fox's decision to head south was not an easy one. Getting the proper permits from the Mexican government was no easy task. But officials like Hugo Torres Chavert, former Rosarito mayor and owner of the Rosarito Beach Hotel, welcomed the studio with open arms. After all, production crews and movie stars would have to relocate to Rosarito in some cases for as long as seven months. We were thinking about the economy in general, all the carpenters, costume designers, security guards. We were thinking of the whole town. And the whole town did react. Hundreds of Mexicans, like 26-year-old Rolando Navarro, applied for jobs at the Baja Fox Studios. It was done by a Mexican engineer here in Mexico. Navarro, a former aircraft mechanic, is now one of the tour guides at the studio's Titanic Museum. He also had four small parts in the movie Titanic. He says his family was shocked. Yeah, but they were really amazed and happy and like, wow, you're going to be in the movie Titanic. But some Popotla residents say the Fox Baja studio didn't really deliver what it promised. When the ship was here, it attracted a lot of attention, but now with just the museum, tourism is about like it was before. The Fox Studios here in Baja was designed specifically for the movie Titanic. But since then, other movie makers have decided that they too would take advantage of the low production costs here in Mexico and the proximity to the ocean. So production on other movies has since continued. Movies that require special underwater scenes like these in the latest James Bond film and the movie Deep Blue Sea starring Samuel L. Jackson. This is how the studio looks today. There are currently no movies in production, but regardless of what future projects are in store, none will probably ever compare to Titanic. Wow and how the big movie brought a little bit of Hollywood fantasy to life. Because I fell in love with Leonardo DiCaprio and he, he was here and, and I love him and I love Titanic. Laura Castaneda, Channel 4, San Diego.